Hello everyone, uh, in this uh, series of videos I will be explaining all the questions that have been asked in the recent entrance exam of Telangana State Engineering uh, entrance test. So first I will be taking up the September 9, 2020 shift 1. I will be explaining each question paper which has 80 questions topic wise. So the first topic that I have chosen is permutations and combinations. So let us have a look at the first problem. Uh, on PNC. If the number of all possible permutations of the letters of the word mathematics in which the repeated letters are not together is 982x, then x is what? So what we can do uh, to start is calculate the total number of words in mathematics. So first I will be writing M A T H. That is you write down all the letters in mathematics to see how many are unique, how many are not unique. Just to make our life simple then the rest are here so you have 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 7 8 9 10 11 total letters 11 total letters can be rearranged to make 11 factorial words but are the number of words truly 11 factorial you will have to see uh, you will see that there are two m's two a's and two t's so if there is one word which is like m a a m uh, and then uh, let us just repeat the top. If I interchange these two m's, I should get another word which is part of 11 factorial. M A M T T H E I C S. Now uh, in dictionary, these two are exactly the same and hence will not be considered as different words. So 11 factorial considered these two uh, arrangements but dictionary will not consider it so we will have to remove all these uh, inconsistencies. So how many inconsistencies are there? There are two m's, there are two a's and there are two t's. So you will have to di divide 11 factorial by these uh, two times for uh, m, two for a and two for t and also you can do this 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial as a better representation if there were 3 m's so we will be dividing by 6 so 3 factorial 11 factorial by 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial is the total number of words now in the question we have been asked to find the total number of words in which the repeated letters are not together so what we can do, we have find out the total number of words. We can also find out the total number of words in which the repeated letters are together. So what I can do here is put the two M's together, then put the two A's together, put the two T's together, and then the rest follows H-E-I-C-S. H-E-I-C-S. So I have the M's, the A's, the T's, H E I C S. So how many uh, total letters will I have? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 factorial will be the total number of words in which the two letter, uh, in which the repetitive letters are together. You know? So I will have to just subtract now 11 factorial from this and I will have my total number of uh, required number of words and the required number of words is given as 982x. So I am not going to do uh, first calculate 11 factorial divide this by 2222 that is 8 then calculate 8 factorial subtract this number from this then divide that by 982 it will waste like another 5 minutes for that and in this paper you have to solve 80 questions in 100 minutes rest of the 60 minutes are for uh, rest of the time is for uh, solving physics and chemistry as well so you cannot spend all of your time on one problem like this so what I will be doing is this 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial by 8 minus 8 into 7 factorial cancel 8 with this 
we take the 7 factorial common so 11 times 10 is 100 10 times 9 is 990 over here we are left with 8 so this is 982x this is 982 right so we cancel this with this so x is 7 factorial here is our answer so 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 1 and 2 is 2 2 and 3 is 6 6 and 4 is 24 24 and 5 is 120 120 and 6 720 720 and 7 so this should be around 5000 so okay this option so this was the first problem now let us have a look at the second problem so it says there are 10 red and 5 yellow flower, uh, flowers or say roses of different sizes if x is the number of garlands that can be formed with all these flowers so that no two yellow flower uh, yellow roses come together and uh, this was x and y is the number of garlands formed with all these flowers so that red roses come together so first you have to calculate x, then you have to calculate y, and then you have to calculate the value of this expression, 2 into x minus y and y 10 factorial. Before we start solving this problem, uh, I hope everybody knows that if there are x flowers, so the number of uh, garlands that you can make from x flowers is x minus 1 factorial by 2. everybody should note that and only then you can uh, solve this problem so now that we have this background knowledge let us start this problem so there are 10 red uh, roses and 5 yellow roses of different sizes different sizes uh, just shows that these are different flowers that's it it's just a way to uh, differentiate the flowers you can also write uh, different flowers or uh, because the color is the same and that is why they have specified uh, sizes okay you can just say 10 this and 10 that 5 that or etc blah blah whatever so x is the number of uh, garlands that can be formed with all these flowers so that no two yellow roses come together how can you uh, ensure that you are making a garland but the yellow roses cannot come together How can we make that? So let us uh, make a garland here. We can make it in this way. What are these? These are red flowers. I'm making a garland of red flowers right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How do I make a garland? Well, now I just join them with a thread see I have very good garland making skills so this is one garland of uh, red roses 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so, okay 10 correct now the yellow roses cannot come together yellow are how many five they cannot come together so we can put one yellow over here another over here or here here so how many places are there for the yellow flowers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, there are 10 spots for 5 roses. First rose will have how many options? 10 options. Second will have how many? 9. Third will have how many? 8. Because each uh, option is getting occupied by one roses, that is why the next rows will have less options. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. In this many ways, you can fit 5 yellow roses in this garland such that the yellow roses are not together. They are not consequent. There is one at least one red rose uh, between them. Okay, so this is the number of ways in which you can put the yellow flowers in this garland of red flowers so that the yellow flowers are not together. But how many uh, garlands you can make from 10 uh, red roses? As I had explained above, 
this is the background that you know x plus can be used to make x minus 1 factorial by 2 garlands so 10 red roses can be used to make 9 factorial by 2 I mean if I have put one yellow here one yellow here one yellow here one yellow here and one yellow here but these red flowers can also be interchanged with their uh, respective positions right we can uh, substitute this one over with this one exchange this one with this one exchange this one with this one they will all make uh, unique garlands so you will have to multiply this number with this so this is what this is your x this is x x is done uh, and you can see uh, there is 9 factorial right here and uh, 10 factorial here I uh, already see a 9 factorial here 10 so I think we are on the right track now let us look at why what is why why is such that all the flowers uh, so that the all the red roses come together so I have five yellow roses and all the ten red roses. If I consider all the ten red roses as one red rose, then in all my permutations the red roses will be together and my problem is solved. Right? So I will have eventually uh, six flowers. And I can use six flowers to make how many garlands? Six minus one factorial by two, right? Which is five factorial by two. Again, the same uh, knowledge of x plus can be used to make x minus 1 factorial by 2 garlands. So, 6 plus can be used to make how much? 5 factorial by 2. But this one red flower is, is a bunch of 10 red flowers. 10 red flowers can be arranged among themselves in how many ways? 10 factorial ways. This is why. Now, why am I saying 10 factorial over here instead of 10 minus 1 by 2 factorial like I have done here? Because the garlands are already made. Garlands are made in this. Now, the 10 uh, red roses are not being uh, permuted to make uh, a garland. They are just being, uh, you know, they are just exchanging their positions among themselves. And we know that 10 objects can be uh, rearranged in 10 factorial ways. So, that is why I have multiplied it with this number. So I have my x, I have my y, can I have my x minus y? x minus y is this, 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 to 9 factorial by 2. I want to take out 10 factorial by 2 common. 10 into 9 factorial is what? 10 factorial, right? 10 into 9 factorial will be 10 factorial. And then I will be left with this. Also, I want to take 2 out. So, 10 factorial by 2. What am I left with? 9 into 8 into 7 into 6. I will write that here. 9 into 8 into 7 into 6. Over here, we have 5 factorial by 2 into 10 factorial. If I take 10 factorial out, I have done 2 out. I have done it. So, I am left with what? 5 factorial. That's it. So, x minus y by 10 factorial into 2 is this. This is what he is asking, right? 2 into x minus y by 10 factorial. So, I have computed 2 into x minus y by 10 factorial. And what is that equal to? 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 minus 5 factorial. But this is not matching any of my options. So what I will do is, you might have already guessed. I'll just multiply it with 5 factorial here. So I will have to divide by 5 factorial. 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial will be what? 9 factorial. So 9 factorial by 5 factorial minus five factorial which is what which is option one so here i have done the two problems on uh, permutations and combinations next uh, i will be uploading on either trigonometry or uh, complex numbers okay uh, see you later